This is Adrian Valiente reporting for ESC Plus live from Sakusur Halin Tallinn for the final of Estelal 2019. And I have next to me Stefan performing the song Without You tomorrow in the final. Yes. How are you, Stefan? I'm feeling great. Yeah. Yes. You went on stage for the rehearsal today. How was it? It was uh, really good. Mm -hmm. It was perfect, I would say. Uh, how did you came up with the idea to do this uh, on stage? The piano, the piano and, and, and the, the lights stuff? and everything. We have an amazing team. Uh, our choreographer, Alice Alexandridi, she helped me with this and uh, I think it worked pretty well. Mm -hmm. It's not your first time though in, in Estilaul. Yeah. Uh, you were last year here with Bayer. Uh, yes. You sang the song Walk With Me. Yes, Laura, yeah. walk with uh, me. What did you decide to come along this time, or what it's different from last year, this time? Uh, you know, Vaya um, uh, is not like uh, help me with uh, yeah. not not uh, existing anymore. Yes, thanks. Okay. So and uh, I thought it would be cool to try it again, but this time I did it uh, alone. You know, and uh, it, it's uh, totally cool. Actually, I like it. And I'm so like thankful that they gave me another chance to okay. uh, sh show myself okay. this time again. What do you think is your best strength? Uh, what? Your best strength, the thing that you think is most powerful about you, about your act, about the song. This uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, man. I'm uh, just, uh, I'm who I am. I'm uh, trying to be nice to person and uh, when I'm on the stage, I am me. I'm trying to focus on this song and myself, that uh, there's only me and this song. And uh, when, uh, depends on the song, you know. Mm -hmm. When it's that song, I want to be with myself. But when it's a song uh, uh, that is uh, it's, uh, like more uh, funny or more shiny you know mm -hmm. then i want to uh, talk to people and uh, sing for people mm -hmm. but this song is you know it's uh, yeah, intimate it's, it's really intimate really emotional yes. and, and what's what is the message behind it uh, uh, i had a i'm uh, actually really emotional in uh, stuff like uh, fights okay. so i don't like to have fi uh, like relationship fights you know okay yeah, so yeah. Uh, we had a fight with my girlfriend and she left her from home and I was really sad about it and I was thinking uh, that she might go to another one and I was sad about it and I wrote the uh, lyrics and the uh, song in one day okay. yes and, uh, and then uh, she came back we all was good and a uh, few yeah, days later okay. I played this song demo version and she was like, oh, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't go to anyone. Why are you? And yes. now you're here in the yeah, And now I'm Estelal here, you know. Some people say it's country. good uh, when sometimes yeah, yeah. bad happens. Yeah. You will be singing in front of your home, uh, yes. the home country. So yes. it's, 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 it's amazing. It's really, yeah, it's a really nice uh, experience, actually. Yes. When I, when I tell Thank you, you for this uh, fight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if I tell you the word Eurovision, what does it come to your mind? Mm, Eurovision, it's a, like a big, big uh, party. Like people all around the nations are having like a, it's not a concurs. How you say con competition? It's not a competition. Yeah. It's uh, more like uh, all nations come together and enjoy this singing stuff and having fun. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I feel so confident i don't see it as a competition i see it as a you know really nice uh, day to have uh, opportunity to sing to people and uh, i'm enjoying it mm -hmm. and and regardless you say that it's not a competition for you yes what do you think is a, is it needed to win this contest because it's so it's been proved at, at in throughout the years different kinds of songs have won the contest and yes what do you think is a formula is it their formula or isn't isn't it a formula there? Uh, you know, it's interesting. Uh, once, uh, w uh, why is it interesting? Because uh, those who win, they are so different from uh, others. Other. For example, this chica uh, chica boom, chica chica yeah, boomba, Neta. Neta, her name. She's not like others. And uh, for example, <laughs> this beard guy, Salvador. Salvador, yes. He's not like others. 
and or this uh, Portugal guy. Yeah. So like he he was singing him so loud, you yeah. know. Yeah. He wasn't like others. He wasn't doing show or something. Yeah. He was singing yeah. so loud. So it's uh, like every. Uh, it's uh, it shows actually from different sides of what interesting you have and you why they won I think because they were not like others mm -hmm. but I see it as a opportunity I'm having fun I take one uh, one day by how you say this Korago. thank you one day at a time yeah, yeah. yeah. okay so actually uh, you are um, you have an Armenian roots so yes. we were talking before yes have you ever considered like going to Armenia to uh, any kind of this uh, competitions like uh, any I, I was thinking about this uh, but um, you know uh, I didn't manage to do this mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, you know uh, so many things and yeah, uh, yeah. it's hard to plan yeah. like to mm -hmm. do this but, but I would like to yeah, would yes, I would like to, of course, uh, and I am planning to go to Armenia to yeah. make a song with uh, some Armenian people. Okay. Yes, tell us, tell us more about it uh, if, you, if you can. Uh, if you have something in mind there. No, I have a song, and, but uh, and I have few people who I'm talking to in Armenia. They should me contact with some uh, singers and some bands. But that's it. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you more. Okay. You uh, if you are interested, then yep. uh, go to my Instagram, sure. uh, Stefan, and uh, keep eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Social media. So key. Yes. You see. Yeah. <laughs> so you speak three languages, I guess. Estonian. Four. Or? Yes. English, Estonian, Russian, Armenian. Okay. Four languages in Eurovision. Yes. It's also been proved that uh, the language is not a. It's not a. It's not Barrier. A yeah. Uh, all right. Yes. Uh, what do you think about it? Is it important to sing in English or in an what do you think about the language in Eurovision? Actually, it doesn't matter as l as long it sounds good. That's the m most important. But actually, it would be really nice if uh, you're from Estonia and you would represent Estonia as uh, Estonian singer and in Estonian language. That okay. would be nice, actually. But uh, really if you don't have the, uh, the this song, it doesn't matter that you can't go. If you have a nice song, then that is that's, that's, all. that's all. The even with a good message and. Uh, and when it comes to the music, would you be open to come back to Estelal with another? Because we saw like, uh, uh, well, with me and without you are not uh, really up tempos, even less. Like yeah, without yeah. you, it's not even up tempo. Well, with me was not that up tempo actually. Yeah. Neither. Uh, would you be open to come back to Estelal with a song could that is uh, could be like really different from the ones that we have listened to you in Estelal? Like in another style uh, or a different performance or something crazy, not crazy. You know, but different. I actually am. A, I like uh, doing shows. I like to have fun. I like to do this whole stuff. But uh, I don't know why. Usually I write sad songs. But I'm actually really I'm a happy person. I like to talk to people and uh, have uh, s interesting stuff and uh, I like to have happy activities. All this stuff, you know. But uh, usually they are sad songs because they are more like uh, emotional. Mm -hmm. For example, my friend's dad died, and I took it uh, so personal, and I wrote a song about it. You know, this this kind of stuff like move. Uh, all about feelings. Yes. Yeah, all about the feelings. But I have actually a few uh, happy songs. Great. Yes. So. Will but we there's one thing. You know why happy songs are hard to make. Because uh, if there's a message like just oh I like you or oh, I like you but fast song, it's not nice. If it it could be or like funny, or it could be like seriously like shiny and this stuff. I don't know. Do you understand me? Yes, yes, yes. I get it. Like it's really difficult to 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 put everything, uh -huh. you know, into into order in order yeah. just to produce a, a yes. happy song because it's not the same thing as. Yes. You know, it's sometimes it's just all about the feelings yes. and uh, how you feel and everything. So it's really difficult. I mean, I get your your point. Like yes. it's really difficult to define yourself as an artist who's gonna do this or this. Like it's, yes. it's whatever it comes in the moment. Yes. I think it's, it's yes. So I understand. Yeah. You write a so uh, you write songs. You I sing. Wish, I wish. No. I no. wish I could do it. No. Um, I was also last but not least going to ask you what it what it will happen tomorrow in case you win. What will be the first person you will speak to? <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I would call my girlfriend and my parents I would say guys I won <laughs> they would be like what <laughs> I don't know I uh, usually this kind of stuff I imagine in my head before this and uh, then uh, I feel all these emotions before that because uh, and then when this happens I'm not like this <gasps> what I'm yes I'm excited I'm like whoa so nice but I'm not like really going crazy about this some people start cry I'm not this okay yeah. and last but not least to uh, put an end to this interview can you please send a message to the viewers on escplus.com and feel free to say <laughs> whatever um, you want you to the fans of uh, Eurovision and Estee Laul uh, keep your loved ones don't fight for uh, about stupid stuff uh, enjoy your life uh, have fun and uh, hug each other more peace